big deal. Well, mate, don't start telling us like this is some sort of rare item or whatever, mate. Like, I remember back in 2009, my nana got me one of these, and then I told her, like, it wasn't real, and then Dad tried to run me over with the VC Commodore. It was, like, the worst Christmas ever, but technically the best one, because it was the only one we had before Dad banned Christmases. And look. I'm with yous. Just go on eBay and type in MP4 player and you'll just see nothing but these sad nuggets turning up. And forgive the condition of my hands. Let's just say Fair Dinkum Aussie Zero or Zito branded Whippersnipper 16. These are the definition of no name product. I mean, there is there is no branding on this thing whatsoever. I mean, don't go thinking that's the name of the company that makes this. Like, don't think there's like a big building in Tokyo with multimedia player written on it in this exact font. All right, mate, what work experience have you got? Well, I work for multimedia player. Oh, mate, I love those guys. And being in the presence of a no-name product gets me thinking about, you know, what does a brand name mean? I mean, it's, it's trust, isn't it? Apple, Sony, I mean, Samsung. You don't feel so bad spending big bucks on their devices because you have trust. They actually put their name on something and they usually hold themselves accountable. I mean, it can also tell us about things that are not good. I mean, like these guys. Come on, boys. Where's AFL 2020, eh? I bet you have to pay like 15 Aussie coins just to unlock the mullet. So with this no-name product, I mean, like, where's the brand? Where's the pride? And I mean, like, even what is an Apple? What is a Samsung? Why hasn't someone made a company with the name of an old friend? Introducing to you, the Craig. <laughs> if you want to talk about a knockoff right here, I mean, if this was an Xbox, this would be called an S-Box. No, it's like five letters away, mate. It's totally different. 512 megabyte digital. I mean, don't actually laugh at the 512. <laughs> like, iPod shuffles were rocking the dirty 512 megabytes. Digital audio player with dual color. Okay, hang on. We can laugh at that. What does dual color mean? Like, two colors. I don't know if any of you have seen 16 colors, but it's vicious. Two, two colors, is that glorified monochrome or <laughs> duochrome? Rechargeable battery, good, good, good. USB 2.0 interface, so it's basically a Pono player. MP3, WMA compatible, or oh, it could do DRM versions. Dual color LCD display, yes. Headphone jack, oh, that's a feature nowadays. Rechargeable battery, yeah, yeah, yeah. Accessories included. High quality stereo headphones, lies. USB cable. Fair. Recharge? No, you can't write that twice. Why, is there an extra one in here? Looks like someone's broken into Craig here. <laughs> this is how I got it. Most bootleg nanos are of the video playing variety. I mean, even back in the day, it was like their one little edge they can have over this model. So like, I actually want to keep this in its box somehow. So I think we just need to carefully open this and extrapolate the goodness. <laughs> oh wait, a good friend of mine, Adrian, came around and he noticed this. Look, you look at this warning right here. You ready? The power cord on this product can contains lead, a chemical known in the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects and other reproductive harm. Wash hands after using. Gosh, I didn't know Kraging was so dangerous. Doing, doing, da doing. Opening my Craig today. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna leave this in its collector's case. I'll be the only person in the world with a Craig collection. Oh dear. Why am I using my injured finger for this? Oh! There's a, there's a Craig disc! I actually like how it looks, although I've got to point out that the Craig logo looks like someone had a frantic half an hour in MS Paint, but that's actually a, a little, nice little disc. Mm. Whoa, look, it's in a genuine Craig bag! With a gradient! Can you believe no one bought this? This is brand new. Yeah, like we need another USB mini cable. It's one thing just to make like a bootleg pile of junk and put it on eBay, but for it to actually get into a retail box is super special. Oh, the Craig manual and the Craig box. Oh gosh. Give me my Craig. Oh. Save this for later. Here we go. Oh, my first Craig experience. And it's already got a big scratch in the screen. Like you see, look how tiny the screen is compared to the Craig, which I'm so glad is holographic. I love how they've made sure to match the borders and then just filled it with Craig and a tiny screen. And just this abomination looking thing. It's noticeably thicker, very noticeably thicker. And uh-oh, is that swelling? Can you see that? Can you see that trying to do the old push out there? I hope that's just because it's built like crap, not the battery swelling, but I think it's actually both. Oh, side headphone jack, great. Whoa, it's covered in all sorts of biz here. You can email Craig. Everyone, please don't do that. Just leave them alone. 2006, wow. This is actually an early one. And these uh, stickers are hideous, by the way. And that's not even shiny. It's like brushed looking. Janky bootleg. 
janky bootleg. All right, how do I activate the Craig? There's a full-blown manual. Please read before operating this equipment. Yeah, it sounds like a forklift. Portable cart warning. What? What is this outdoor antenna grounding business? What is all of this about? Oh, there it is. The Craig. Main power switch. Oh, right, that's not a hold switch. That literally turns it on. Can you believe nothing happens? Oh, I want to see this jewel color display so bad. A happy day by my music. Recharge the battery for a minimum of 12 hours. That's not happening. Oh, slide on and then hold the play pause. On. Craig, 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 Craig. Oh, it's not doing it. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Pretty cool that they got all the controls in here. I mean, out of all the bootlegs, like, the Craig is by far the... the Craigest. All right, fella, we're doing this fair dinkum style. Matey, we're busting out a 2010 genuine Windows XP machine. I swear that this EPC has to be one of the newest ever made genuine XP machines. That's why it looks so new. I mean, it's it's a total freak. And they're on these little discs, mate. I even picked up a USB disc reader. Oh, look, I even left the thing on it. Ooh. Oh, mate, this is as good as it gets. Oh, look how clean it is under there. Don't mind me, mate, just having a chalky bicky here. Well, let me get that, mate. Whoop. Not a scratch on it, actually. It makes me think, actually, I probably should leave that on there to keep it protected. All right, there we go. A bit of chalky bicky hurt no one, mate. We're gonna do this nana selling on gum tree style. Just taking a photo of the computer screen. Oh yeah, mate, this is the stuff right here, right? Let's get our, let's get our Craig business going. Windows 98. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Oh goody, we've got two setups going on here. That's always legit. Oh! <laughs> and then AVG immediately jumps in and goes, please don't install this. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, but it's just, oh, this is, this is what it means to use XP today. You know what? Let's just try plugging it straight in and see what we can do. Initiating, creaking. Whoa! Whoa, two colors, blue and yellow. It's a glorified monochrome screen. There it is. All right, well, the only problem is there's no music on this computer. All right, hang on, we've got to take our genuine Craig disc out. Got my CDs here. Let's actually put something on here because this little witch is very picky about what USB drives it takes. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, gorillas. I, very, very fun, but just let me... No, it's very fun. Thank you, gorillas, but gorillas, I just... I just want to use my Craig! Oh, macrometer f- Get out of it! Alright, we'll open up Windows Media Player. Uh, yeah, that takes me back. What? Give that a five star, mate. I can't change that rating. RIP! Oh gosh, it's gonna take forever, isn't it? One more. This isn't taking forever at all. Oh, I love Unknown Album. It's my favorite. Oh, let's just drag him on the Craig. Go, baby, go. Use that 2.0 interface. It even says writing. It's a little more sophisticated than a thought, but it's still, it's still not good. Time for my first genuine Craig experience. Come on, baby. I, come on, baby! Oh, no. Oh, poor Craig, that battery is gone, mate. Oh, Craig! Oh, you can just make it out. It's not good. Let's compare it to its contemporary. Okay, I think the real Nano's a little bit nicer. Just a little bit. How does the Craig handle? Oh, this junk friggin'. This is like a heaps janky power bank I've had for like six years and it just turns on and off. I just want to navigate it a bit. Menu. Ooh! Quarter? Oh, I quickly need to record something. Let, let me, let me, let me. Whoops. Huh? Menu. Okay, recorder. Recorder. <laughs> uh, v voice. R menu. What is? What does that mean? Oh wow, I can't fathom it. A re recorder. Vo volume. Anything. Am I recording? 
Am I doing it? I really don't care. I don't need to hear how terrible this microphone is, which is right there. Okay, something I am going to do is I'm actually going to sit down with my Overkill AKG K712s and I'm going to sit down and listen and see if the Craig even holds up against the iPod. If it stays on for long enough, right? BRB. I've returned from my Craiging. You know, it, it sounds like a little music player, doesn't it? I mean, I swear the very tippy high ends and the very sub low ends are just slightly a little under this guy, but not a lot. I mean, honestly, back in the day, like 512 MP3 player, the fact that it's got a rechargeable battery and it is drag and drop, I the music's playing. And the best part is the backlighting actually bleeds through the top here. It's amazing how dim this is, but in like a really dark room, the displays kind of neato in this weird way. Couldn't figure out how to get the volume up. I even tried that and it didn't work. The controls are terrible on the S-Box. And the S stands for shit. What makes these nanos really nice, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a translucent clear layer on the top. It's just super nice. There's none of that on this guy. It's just solid white fugly plastic. <laughs> I'm looking at these tantalizing screws and I want to have a quick look in and I bet you, oh, I reckon that's getting worse actually. Oh dear, I think the Craig's days are numbered. Hold on, Craig. Here we go. So, you know, it's not an iPod. It doesn't have Phillips screws in it. It's not glued together, is it? Oh, wow. It's made of the thinnest materials on the planet. <laughs> Ew, it's all oily in here. Oh, look, the back. And you know what? The back is unusually heavy. It's like they've weighed it down. Look at that gross biz there. You know, that's, oh, that's right. We've got to wash our hands after this. Look, even Craig just sold it straight to the motherboard. Shameful. Oh, wow. It was that. That's a leaky something. It's gross in here. That's all I'll say. Oh, Craig. Oh, we lost the power switch. Let's put this lemon back together. Craig! Getting this fiddly biz back in. Okay. Stay, Craig. Craig. Stay. Damn it, Craig! Uh, the battery didn't look too bad, actually. I think it's just made like junk, to be honest. Oh! And these are heaps janky. They're like self-tapping screws kind of thing. You know, it's, they're like little mini woodwork looking screws. Don't tell me Craig's standards were low. And looking through the rubble, I can't find any headphones. I reckon someone actually broke in and stole the headphones. They did say high quality stereo earphones, so I guess the person really thought so. I, I can't find them anywhere. Well, I've honestly enjoyed my time with the Craig. What a beautiful lemon this is. It is a total piece of junk, but hey, it actually plays music and looks completely like a nano from at least a good distance. But look, this guy's still kicking and this guy's absolutely had it. <laughs> oh, well, I don't dare leave it on charge or anything because I do actually worry about that battery on this guy. Oh, Craig, how could you let yourself go like this? Miami, Florida. You're not a state, you're a monster. Well, that's it. So, thank you so much for watching. Like, real big thanks, especially to my patrons and these stinky names right here. One dollar a month, I got extra vids. And this week, you know, we're going to open this up. Let's see what this guy can do. Because I think this was like 10 bucks on eBay, something like that. Brand spankers. A genuine multimedia player. Multimedia player. It's got music smart. It has to be good. So that video goes live the same time this video does. So that's waiting for you right now. And I'll, uh... I'll see you all next time, yeah? Does this even turn on, actually? Oh, <laughs> I just got this in the mail. The Sickness P510. I don't know how to feel about that. That was by far the cheeriest fail to boot I've ever seen. I mean, Windows should just make it fun like this.